Hey everyone, today we're diving into a new video model that just dropped in the AI video generation space, Skyreels V2. And this new release of Skyreels V2 will be especially useful for those of us looking to create longer and more cinematic AI generated videos. What's really special about Skyreels V2 is that it solves one of the biggest limitations of current video models, which is video length. While models like LTXV that we covered previously are great for speed, and models like 12.1 and Hanyuan offer excellent quality, they're typically limited to generating short clips of about 5 to 10 seconds. That's when the new Skyreels V2 comes into play of what they call diffusion forcing, it's a technique that allows you to generate videos as long as 60 seconds or potentially even longer. Comparing this to frame pack, which does allow you to create a very high quality videos of up to 60 seconds, there is a limitation that 60 seconds is the maximum length you can go. What's interesting about this diffusion forcing model by Skyrolls is that technically you can make the length infinite as you keep chaining one diffusion forcing sampler and combining each result in the end. Let's go down to the hardware requirement to run this model. According to the repo, generating a 540p video with the 1.3 billion model requires about 15 gigabytes of VRAM, which is plenty of enough room for RTX 3090 or 4090. And you can use any GPU with at least 16 gigabytes of VRAM. For the 14 billion model that's going to be released, you need approximately 51.2 gigabyte peak VRAM for diffuse enforcing and 43.4 gigabyte for standard text to video generation. That's beyond the consumer GPU, but you can offload some of the VRAM to RAM and you can use the block swap node to reduce the VRAM required, but it is going to be hard to run this on a consumer GPU when the 14 billion model comes out. The new model was trained with approximately 3 million videos. What makes this model really special is the fact that they use the Skyrolls captioner, which is specifically designed to recognize and end annotate cinegraphic elements so this is like shot types camera angles movements and expressions because the model was trained with data annotated by this specialized captioner it's going to understand the prompt better than other models this video model also produces a very good motion quality video. They use reinforcement learning on motion quality, so they carefully curated pairs of videos that had the same content and followed the same text prompt equally well. With this specialized data set, they trained a reward model that learned to distinguish good motion from poor motion. But what makes the model stand out is this technique called diffusion forcing. There's a limitation on traditional video models when trying to create longer videos because they have to process the entire sequence at once, which quickly exceeds memory limitations. Skyros uses diffusion forcing to generate a segment of video and then use the last few frames as a starting point to generate the next segment and so on indefinitely. Unlike other approaches that forgets the previous content, diffusion forcing maintains visual continuity and context awareness throughout the entire generation. And Skyros V2 also shows a pretty impressive performance against other open source models like 1.2.1 and also a closed model like Kling 1.6. Their benchmark evaluation seems to even produce a higher quality result than Kling 1.6 in terms of text to video generation. Although there is a new model Kling 2.0, it seems that it will produce a higher result than Kling 1.6. Skyros also seems to be other open source video models like Hanyuan Video and 12.1 in terms of image to video generations. Let's now open up a comfy UI environment and test out this model. The custom node that you're going to need to run the workflow is one video wrapper node and the workflow for this is under the one video wrapper custom node folder and under the example workflow. There's a diffusion forcing workflow right here and you can drop that over to comfy UI. The model that you're going to need for this workflow is Skyreels V2 diffusion forcing 1.3 billion 540p model which you can download from this Hugging Face link. If you have never used this custom node to run one video model, you also need this clip text encoder umt 5 xxl fp 16save tensor, which you can download from here. You want to make sure to use the Comfy UI native text encoding from this link here. You also need to download the one video V model. You want to put the diffusion forcing model under the diffusion model folder and the UMT clip model under the clip folder and the V model under the V folder. 
Let's go over the settings you can tweak to run this workflow. There is a one video torch compile settings node, which you can connect to the model loader to make the workflow faster, but you're going to need to have Triton installed. In the one video model loader, there is a attention mode you can change from SDPA to Sage attention, which is going to make the workflow more memory efficient. So you can probably change this attention mode parameter to Sage attention when you run out of memory. In order to have Sage attention, you need Triton installed, so they need to come together. I created a guide to install Triton and Sage attention in the previous video when introducing the Phantom model, so you can check out that video there. Another way to get around the issue when you run out of memory is to use the one video block swap node, which is going to offload some of the VRAM to the CPU memory. If you use the block swap node and you still run out of memory, there's a last option to use the one video VRAM management node, which is an alternative to the block swap node, but it even saves more VRAM. So you can use these two nodes to trade off between speed and memory usage. The sampler section is basically where the magic happens. It uses the new one video diffusion forcing sampler, which is going to create the segments of the video. And the video result is then encoded into the next sampler, which is going to make the video even longer. And you can copy this step indefinitely to make the video however long as you want. And in the end, the results are then combined to make the final video in this section. Now I'm going to run the workflow with a couple of examples to see how good the model is. I'm going to use this picture of an astronaut in space, which I also use to create LTXV video. For the prompt, I'm going to use this system prompt to ask Claude to generate a very cinematic image to video generation. And then I'm going to cue the prompt. And here here is the result after waiting for a bit. Video quality is pretty good. I really like the dynamic movements of the astronaut compared to other models like Pack and LTXV video model. And the quality doesn't seem to be compromised that much as we progress to the next sampling step. It took about 580 seconds to generate a 10 seconds video on this model. And I'm running this on a NVIDIA 3090 GPU. I also used some of the other images that was used for other video models like this cat image right here. I also generated the prompt the same way using the system prompt, and this is the result that I got. The model seems to really follow the prompt more correctly than other video models. The video does get deformed as we move to the next sampling step, but the motion quality is definitely better than LTXV video model, and it follows the prompt more correctly than Framepack, which is using Hanyuan video model. I've also created some other image to video generation, like this girl's riding a car down the road, and also these videos of supercars driving down the street. Comparing these results to other video models, I do think the Skyros model is on the top tier. It does use the one video model as the base model, so it explains why the videos are pretty high quality. So in terms of generating high quality and long videos that follows the prompts to create dynamic movements, I think Skyros is the best option right now. As always, I'm going to keep on the lookout for interesting and useful AI tools and models, so be sure to subscribe for more AI contents. Thanks for watching.